but the, the tradition of the You Can Share Food Drive uh, goes on. And so we've been a part of that for as long as I've been at Trinity, as long as I can remember uh, in elementary school and high school, we've been a part of that. So this year, the, uh, and of course, some of the statistics, I know, again, this is the, you know, the serious stuff that you all don't really care about. But um, uh, according uh, to the South Plains Food Bank, one out of six people in this 20-county area that they serve uh, is uh, hungry to some extent. In other words, they don't really have enough food on a day-to-day -day basis uh, to meet their needs, okay? Now, do they get food uh, maybe, you know, once a day? Sure, they might. Uh, but how many times do you eat a day, okay? So one out of six people is in need of some sort of assistance with uh, food. Um, the South Plains Food Bank does serve 20 counties, okay? Not just Lubbock County, but 20 counties in this West Texas area. So when you bring your cans of food, you're helping a lot of people. Um, at Christmas, they do 5,000 food boxes, okay? They do 5,000 food boxes just at Christmas time alone. So this year, their goal is uh, 300,000 pounds of food. Uh, last year, I think we donated about uh, 30,000 pounds of food to them. And then uh, they want to earn about $125,000. So what can we do? Well, let's see. Let's hear it. Well, of course, now the cans are dented, so we can't use them. Just kidding. Uh, that one's expired. You can't use that one either. So, okay, so um, Mel, come on up here for a sec. Um, so this year we're going we're gonna to do things just a tad bit differently, okay? Uh, you know, in years past we've set class goals and we've worked frantically for two weeks to and, you know, last year, that was a lot of fun, wasn't it? But we did it. Uh, but this year, we're just kind of taking, you know, a step back, just kind of taking a break. And this year, we are going to focus on you, the individual, and simplicity. The bottom line is, as you bring cans, you earn a reward, okay? You get to choose how much you want to participate. You get to choose which reward you want to work towards, okay? But here's the catch. If you don't bring cans, you don't get the rewards, okay? Sometimes we sort of sit back and let our class do all the work, and then we get to go to off-campus lunch and that sort of thing. This year, okay, I mean, that's sort of, you know, and that's kind of Old Testament and biblical, you know, the corporality of sin. If one, you know, if one suffers, they all suffer, and if one uh, gets blessed, they all get blessed. But we're kind of New Testament. If you don't eat, you don't, you know, if you don't work, you don't eat kind of thing this year. So, uh, yeah. So this is individuals. So you get to set what you want to do. And Melanie's going to tell you what each grade level's uh, rewards are. So slide, slide. Yeah. Okay, for junior high, if you bring 20 
five cans, your reward will be a jeans day. There will be one jeans day, and if you bring all your cans, then you will be allowed to wear jeans that day. For ninth and 10th grade, for 25 cans, you will be able to participate in the sweats day. Also, for 40 additional cans, you will have one extra off-campus lunch at Kingsgate. And that one's for freshmen. And then for sophomores, you'll have one extra off-campus. Yeah. For both. Oh. For both. Then if you bring 40 more cans, then you'll have one more after Christmas. Okay. For juniors, 25 cans also, you can participate in the sweats day. 40 additional cans. You get one extra off-campus lunch. And for 40 more cans, even more than that, you will get even one more off-campus lunch second semester. For seniors, 25 cans, sweats day still. Uh, 40 extra cans is one extended off-campus lunch for this semester, and then 40 additional cans after that will get you another extended next semester. So except for the sweats day, it's pretty much kind of what we've always done in terms of rewards, but we really thought you guys would like a sweats day, okay? I wanted to make it 50 cans, but we were nice, and we thought everybody can bring 25 cans, and that's for high school only. Uh, everybody can bring 25 cans and get a sweats day. Okay. Uh, a couple of details. Um, next slide. Um, we're just going to take cans. Again, we're talking simplicity this year. Cans. Okay? If your can is 10 ounces or more, it counts as a point. If it's less than 10, uh, 10 ounces, it uh, only counts as a half a point unless it is a meat product. Okay? Uh, you can bring uh, uh, canned, uh, canned meats because uh, uh, they need those. And... Um, uh, we're, again, we're just kind of focusing on cans. The now, guys, we're we're not going to bring 25 cans of tomato paste, okay? Um, what I wanted to do is get a box of food and 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 kind of show you the things that the the food bank gets and see if you could make a meal out of you know tomato paste and and uh, you know stewed tomatoes and and a can of green chilies or something, okay? Um, they appreciate everything that we, you know, that they get, but think about if you were trying to prepare a meal, what would you need in that food box that would allow you to prepare a balanced meal for your family? Okay, so what the, the uh, uh, food bank really needs is they need canned fish and poultry, canned beans, canned fruit and veggies, soup, chili, stew, okay, 100% fruit, fruit juice in the cans, of course. And in uh, any type of full meals in a can, like, you know, ravioli and spaghettios and stuff like that. So let's try to focus on that, okay? Again, we want to keep it simple. Um, our food drive technically is November 17th through the 21st, that last week before Thanksgiving break. But, th but this year, we want, uh, we want those cans collected before then. We're going to divide up the study halls. Uh, on Monday, certain study halls will bring in their cans so that they can be counted. And if you are eligible to wear sweats, we'll give you a, a, a little wristband that says you can wear sweats. And if, if you're eligible for an off-campus lunch, we'll, we'll give you a wristband for that day as well. Uh, but we're going to be counting the cans actually that Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday of the week of November 17th. Um, not exactly sure. We were going to have the sweats day on that Friday, but if we've got a lot of basketball kids out, w we wouldn't have it that day. Maybe we can have it the Thursday instead, okay? But we've got to figure uh, But that's just a little detail that uh, we've got to figure out. Uh, but again, start collecting your cans now. I know a lot of you just, you know, you just go to the store and you buy, you know, you buy the cans. But David, uh, Mr. Hutchins, excuse me, sorry. He was my student. This is so hard. He's the same class as my son. Mr. Hutchins. Um, okay. Um, no, I know I was doing this, I promise. Um, just want to encourage you guys to uh, go canning. Um, one of, the, one of uh, my favorite memories of high school is uh, my junior year. We started canning like this week, and we canned like almost every single day for that entire month of October. And uh, it's been a really, really good time. I was going to uh, have some of my friends send you guys videos to tell you, to let y'all know how much they love canning, but didn't have time. But um, 
I actually told them I was going to talk about canning, and they, like, all just were effusive in how much, like, they liked it. Um, so get some of your buddies together and go canning. Um, one thing about it is it's you're doing something that uh, is not for you. Like, we all know that, right? But um, that's kind of the thing about Trinity. That's the thing that uh, sets us apart in a lot of ways, um, and it's something we should take a lot of pride in. Uh, I understand that all of you guys are really, really busy, but... Um, You always kind of have, we make time for what we want to make time for. Um, Canning can be really fun. Uh, We always went to like the, like to Lake Ridge and stuff like that. And we just went to these people's houses over and over and over again. Don't do that. Don't do that. Um, They'll get tired of you. But um, we kind of turned into a competition and like even amongst our grade, we would divide up into uh, cars and we would go and be like, okay, how many, uh, we would like make bets with each other and be like, okay, well, if we collect more cans tonight, then like you guys have to buy a Starbucks or something like that. And we just kind of turned it into like a game, which I'm sure our parents love because we come home at like 10 o'clock and like had a ton of caffeine. Um, but um, I just wanted to really encourage you guys, uh, stuff like this can be a lot of fun. Uh, you, we always talk about like how uh, mission trips are great, right? We all love Missions Week. Um, and we all love, like, getting to go uh, serve these people in all these different places. But uh, kind of canning, we can kind of turn that into uh, a little bit of that same feeling. Do you guys understand that? Like, we can kind of turn it into um, whenever we're doing stuff that's not for us, something kind of happens because we're doing the will of the Lord. And doing the will of the Lord is just not, it's not just not doing bad stuff, right? It's doing the good things that the Lord has commanded us to do. And all of a sudden, you're like, you'll be really surprised, like, you'll start enjoying it, and you won't be afraid um, about, like, going and knocking on people's doors. Because most people are pretty generous. I mean, really. Most people um, would rather just give you guys, like, a sack of cans than they would even go, like, drive to the food bank or something like that themselves. So um, I just want to encourage you guys uh, to, to do that. Um, I know I don't expect you all to do it, like, every day or anything like that, but... Um, You know, find a Tuesday night, like a random Tuesday night. It's cool because it's fall and it's cold outside and everything like that. But um, it's really, really fun. So, um, like I said, that's one of my favorite random memories from high school is doing weird stuff like that. So, Okay, a tip that I learned from Mr. Hutchins when you go canning. uh, Like he said, he had, they, you know, some guys were driving whatever. There was a guy in their class, uh, Adam, who was big and tough looking and... Uh, they would go canning, and poor poor Adam, I mean, he was like six foot something and, you know, 220 pounds. He'd go up to the door, and people wouldn't open the door. I mean, they would not open the door to him. So Adam got delegated to drive the car, and then if you only knew Mr. Hutchins in high school, Mr. Hutchins went, Mr. Hutchins would go up, and they'd give him anything because he's this sweet, sweet young man, and, and we're collecting cans. <laughs> I can do this. And, and. And they would just give him everything. So, so there is a strategy to canning. How many of y'all have cute little elementary school age brothers and sisters? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Listen up. Shh. Listen up. If you go early enough, take them. Nobody turns down your little sweet, cute, you know, elementary uh, age brother and sister. Okay, so anyway, yes, shh, shh, Miss Kitten, shh, shh. yes, that's the other thing too, wear a Trinity t-shirt, okay, they need to know that you are, listen, listen, they need to know that you are working for an organization, okay, and not just some, you know, random teenagers, you know, scamming people, okay, so uh, when you do go, I mean, and seriously, Go together, you know, divide up the cans when you're done. Yes, these, you know, we are talking individual cans, but div- divide them up when you're done, okay? And whoever, you know, whoever helped that night, that you know, they get a part of that. So make it a lot of fun. The reason we're telling you this early is so that you can have six weeks, seven weeks here to, uh, to do this, and you don't just have to go buy cans. But if that's what you want to do and you need a chance to earn money, you know, you can earn some money. Look for those sales for the 50 cents per can items. Try to focus on, um, I mean, and seriously, guys, we come back from mission trips, and this is what I hear. You know, I just really realized how blessed I am. I mean, I have so much, and they have so little, and, and yet they're so happy. Well, now's your chance to be a blessing to others. Jesus blesses us so that we can be a blessing to others. 
And now's our chance to actually put our feet to what our words have been saying every time we come back from a mission trip, okay? All right, and just have fun with it. So again, uh, those cans will be due uh, November 17th, 18th, and 19th. Start working and have fun, and that's all that I have. Uh, no, don't bring your cans early uh, because we won't have any place to put them. I'll have the truck here that week, okay? So you're going to have to keep them at home. Guys, what's 40 plus 40 plus 25? That's 105 cans if you do all of that, okay? Shh, listen up. Listen up. You can store that many at your house until that week, okay? All right. That's all that I have. Let's pray. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we do thank you for the many, many blessings that you uh, have given us. We do thank you for this school. And um, uh, we are called by you. And so we want to do what you have asked us to do. We want to walk in obedience. And if that means uh, walking um, uh, the, uh, the, the, the streets of, of Lubbock and our communities to, uh, you know, uh, to collect cans, then we want to do that. Or whatever way, Father, that you would uh, uh, challenge these kids to, uh, to help uh, their, uh, their town, Father. So as we pray about it, as we think about what you want us to do, Father, help us to be faithful, to listen to you, and then to do what you've asked us to do. Bless these kids, Father. They're the best kids in the city. In thy name we pray. Amen. Go to class.